go get the princess so that we can be done. I want my reward now. Uh, of course, there's a dragon. God damn it, Rufus. What is wrong with you? Holy crap, he's dead. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Jesus, there's more of them. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Jack Smith. Then for today's episode, our journey finally comes to an end. Now, Jack Smith and Rufus have spent the better part of 40, 50 days on the road now, arming farm animals, killing everything that moves along the countryside, and I'm still not 100% sure why. You no, know, if the reward is gonna be a giant bag full of gems, or seven minutes alone in a closet with the princess, I don't know, but today we're gonna find out. Beware Blackjack. Okay, that pretty much confirms it for me. Now, Dudley, I know you can hear me. I have to be getting close right now. And as a donkey who drives his own cart rather than pulls it, I feel like you should take me seriously when I tell you that now would be the time to send out all of your dark enemies. It's the final stretch. What do you mean fire enemies? I'm not trying to tell you how to be a villain here, guy, but I've been mopping the floor with fire enemies for the last 40 days. Maybe now is time to switch it up. Don't worry about me, my kilted little cheapy friend. I swear I'm not yelling at nothing over here. <laughs> what can I get for you? A battle axe? I think I got the perfect thing, actually, because I'm fairly certain a battle axe is already good against fire, and if I make it out of crystal, I might be able to make you a legendary battle axe that's good against fire. You hear that, Dudley? That's why you're stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Scaring off all my customers thinking I'm some batshit crazy jackass. Literally. We're gonna build ourselves the legendary cinder axe, plus four fire damage for your whole party. So I could arm everybody else with pool noodles and nerf bows and we would still be able to cruise through this. I just need to remember the part, 16, 18, 25. That looks close enough, right? Why don't we just sell the parts like Ikea? That's ingenious, actually. Rufus, can we do that? What if we just smelt all the parts and then sell it for a little bit cheaper? Then they'll have the reward of building it themselves and I won't have to waste my time lining everything up and getting 99% over and over again. It's driving me crazy. Uh, 16, right? We want it to be ribbed for his pleasure. Just going to, eh, good. Uh, 18. I don't know why it's good against ice, but I guess that doesn't really matter as long as we get that fire aura. Perfect. And 25, it was the trident one, right? Yeah, there we go, good against water. Strange. Ah, that looks flawless. <laughs> Epic weapon cinder axe, and it should be 100% across the board. I can't see because I, <laughs> I got a giant achievement. Ah, oh, screw it. It's good enough. What can I get for you? A sword? Okay, yep. Yeah, move to the right. Hey, Chicken Little, what do you want? A bow? Okay, thank you. Move to the right. Why can't you guys just write your orders down and then move to the right? I'm, I'm busy doing stuff. Yeah, okay. The haircut sheep wants a shield. You want another battle axe? Very good. And, ooh, hello there, beefy boy. You want a mace. In all reality, I'm just gonna give you guys garbage. I'll tell you that right now. Usually when I make something and consider it garbage, it's only a mid-tier metal and like 100%, 100%, 99% stats. But I'm kind of tempted to give them actual garbage. I've never done this before because I understood how to build these weapons since the very beginning. But what happens if I cook the metal for just a little bit too long? Maybe I overheat things just a touch? Maybe I pull this down a little too hard and things go, oh God. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I am so sorry. What if I get this nice and hot? There we are. Sorry guys, but it's my first day and ooh. Okay, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Oh, this one's made out of gold. This one should uh, turn out real well. Was this the bow or the sword? I still can't tell. <laughs> I can only imagine this is driving people's OCD through the wall, but my God, is it glorious. I love it. How the hell do you put an emblem on the center of this thing? <laughs> What's the center of it? like? Would it be over here or, I don't know. Oh, that's apparently perfect. 
<laughs> yup, definitely looks perfect to me. Ooh, 45%. We didn't even get like success music. I cannot put into words how disappointed I am with myself right now, but you know what? <laughs> That's apparently an axe. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that guy's going to die instantly. How can you screw up a bow as much as possible? What if I just made it real limp? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, that works. And then uh, here's a little extra health for you. And uh, an arrowhead. An arrowhead. Maybe something like that. Eh, don't worry about it. As long as the pointy end goes near them, you should be fine. There we go. And... <laughs> sure? Oh, God. <laughs> well... We are gonna- I didn't even finish in time. I didn't even finish early for this day, but we're gonna see if that epic legendary weapon is gonna carry us through or not. I get the feeling you guys are going to get smoked. <laughs> I'll try my best to heal you as much as I can, but I don't have a whole lot of faith in this journey anymore. Heal. There we go. Doing great, guys. Keep it up. Bunch of fire enemies. You could drop them before they hit you. Did that actually just happen? I think we just killed that guy before he did any damage to us. Maybe? Possibly? Come on, come on, come on. Hit the stove. Oh, God, no. People can't be breaking three enemies in. <laughs> like, seven more. Oh, this is just a lost cause. This might have been an accident. I love the weapons, though. I think the axe was the first to go, which was my favorite. <laughs> the shield is pretty good, too. What if I make you guys hit even faster? All right, you could, oh, nope, there you go. He's gone. Okay, wonky sword has taken off. Still going. We haven't lost that many people. How is this working? I, I honestly do feel like I could do just about anything and get through these levels. <laughs> right? It, it, it's kind of working. We only have three left. If I just keep firing. Rufus, you're the only one who isn't going to screw up today. Okay, you take your work very seriously. We lost another one. Okay. <laughs> gonna keep firing? I can't believe this. I'm honestly dumbfounded that we're still in this at all. Like, that wonky shield guy is still here. How? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take him down, take him down. There we go. Oh. Oh, right, the dark enemies. I forgot about them. We, we don't have anything anti-dark, I don't think. <laughs> Which means you guys are probably going to get smoked. Okay, the only two good weapons are left. I think they're both crystal, right? Are they? Oh, oh okay. Gonna, okay, Blackjack, last last one. You guys could actually pull this off. You could be heroes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I'm so close to being able to heal you. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Dudley, you could go down on me. Wow. I can't lose. It, it's just impossible. New weapon, the box shield. Unlock all types of shields. You see, that's the other thing. If we're unlocking every recipe in the game now, I can't imagine there's a whole lot left. Right? And considering it doesn't seem to really matter what I make or how well I make it, I might as well get some variety in my day. You know, I'm not going to need a whole lot of help beating these electric sheep and dark turkeys. Two great band names, by the way. If you guys want to use those, you're welcome to. Speaking of dark turkeys, will you shut the hell up back there? A freeloader, get out of here. I'm building my very first tall shield. I need complete focus. No distractions, because I know what I'm doing. It's called a box shield, not a tall shield. I still know what I'm doing, okay? And it's good against grass. Really? It's two days after we leave the forest, and we figure out how to make a shield that's good against grass. Even if we didn't run into too many grass enemies in the forest, it still would have been nice. Again, I'm questioning Dudley, but uh, at the same time... I guess I should give him props, right? He did make off with the princess. He has had her captive for, what, 40 days now? Did Bowser ever manage to do that? Right, we gotta tip our hat to the guy. I can only imagine how many kinky things a dragon and a rat wizard can do a princess in 40 days. <laughs> I need paint. I don't wanna go talk to that freeloading bird, so I'm just gonna paint it white and say, screw it, and hopefully this thing is easy to paint. Okay, uh, ooh, oh, um, hmm. We can cover that up, right? That won't really matter too much. We can slap one of these over it. You'd never be able to tell. 
All right? An enemy is never gonna see a little bit of white paint missing on your shield and think, okay, I'm in the clear, 99%. <laughs> Screw it, good enough. New weapon, the Moon Blade. That looks freaking intense. You see, that's what we need more of. Okay, I, and I know I skipped over a full day. The shield wasn't all that interesting, and I was getting a little pissed off with the old pecker nagging at me. So we're just gonna move on to a new weapon, and hopefully, Rufus, you have something for me to hit with a moon blade. A little ice, a little dark. Okay, the dark enemies are finally coming out. And now that I think about it, a moon blade probably good against dark enemies now that I think about it. I, I do know for a fact though that anytime I come up with a new recipe in my little donkey brain, the perfect customer shows up and orders exactly what I want to make. Let's see, a moon blade is good against dark. Of course it is. So I'm just gonna make one out of crystals. In all reality, I don't need to think, okay? My job is to put metal into a pot, heat it up, and then make it into something sharp for you to stick in your enemies. It's not rocket science. If you had a rocket scientist handy, however, I would take his advice on how the hell to sharpen this thing. I got 12 swings. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That was not right. I don't know, man, it's my first time. Uh, I kind of want to make this real strong, so it's gonna be against ice and dark. Do I have anything? Ooh, ooh, actually we have a ton against ice. Yeah, let's just blow them out of the water. I've been holding on to these for a while now. I can even make the match. This is gonna be the prettiest old pike you ever did see. Uh, oh, and it's gonna be perfect. Come on, I can do this. I can, I can do this. Come on, come on. This is gonna do so much ice damage. <laughs> nine and nine and nine? Is that excessive? Maybe? I gotta give it a good butt too. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it the ball sack butt. There we go. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, that might be one of the coolest weapons I've ever made. And it's not even legendary or epic or whatever you want to call it. 90, okay, yeah, 95% hammering. I guess I did kind of screw that up. I easily forget, okay? I was proud of my work. Okay, you want a sword, step to the right. You want a mace, thank you very much. Step to the right, you should be, oh yeah, a couple maces. I think we have a mace recipe that's good against dark enemies. Thank you very much. Okay, beefy boys to the right. Chicken little, what can I get you? A bow, uh-huh. All right, we might be able to make something work here. Did I unlock anything of interest? I'm getting a whole lot of recipes to remember. Anything of use, I wonder? The luck beater, the scorcher, the vine smasher. Nothing I need. I really can't resist making a legendary weapon, even if this is gonna be overkill, and I would rather play it safe. So we're gonna make the Frozen Arrow, which is a steel simple bow, 18, 14, 23. And as long as I can make this straight, it should help quite a bit. Bunch of ice damage, we're facing off against some ice enemies. Besides, like, I can't take all these resources with me once we're done, right? Like, I I'm just gonna be too busy raising all of these princess babies that I'm gonna have. 18, 14, yep, this looks like it would hurt somebody if it landed in their eye. And 23 would be you, ooh, fancy. Uh, looks pretty good, I've made all the other weapons because they were just bog standard maces and stuff like that. It always feels weird to just kind of reflect on the fact that making a solid gold mace for a bull warrior has become standard in my life. Perspective is something that I very rarely get in these games, but when you think about it, like, we have a bunch of farm animal warriors, sure, okay, not that weird. They're facing off against some kind of dark farm animals that are, what, easily 15, 20 feet tall? And made by some kind of wizard rat? Oh, oh, no, 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 guys, don't run! Don't run! Oh, crap, no! No, what happened? This was supposed to be overkill! How did this happen? You have got to be kidding me. At least kill the chicken, kill the, kill the chicken, kill the chicken, thank you. Okay, maybe we can make this work? What are we up? Oh, you're a big boy. This is not gonna work. Rufus, I don't suppose there's a semi-automatic function on that cannon, and we lost. How? 
How is that possible? <laughs> so many gold, flawless weapons, and an epic weapon, a crystal, whatever it was, the new crazy pike, moon spear, moon blade, or I don't need to know the names, okay? It doesn't matter. Point is, I did better in the first level with a pile of crap. Oh, thank God. New cannonball, ice bomb. That's gonna make a way bigger difference than any new weapon recipe. And I've said this before, but the idea is, if I'm gonna build an ax, having a slightly better ax than what I would normally build isn't that big of a difference. But having a shot over no shot at all is a huge difference. <laughs> Especially if we keep facing off against all of these random friggin' enemies that I can't build anything good against. If anything, I would say that the skull enemies are the strongest enemies in this game because there's no type advantage against them. You just, you have nothing, except for random Moo Moo spikes and potentially a new, oh, a new legendary shield. What did we get, snow shield? Eh, it's kind of cool, I guess. We might need that eventually. Something feels really, really wrong about building a whole bunch of crystal weapons and then fitting them with the most... Standard, basic, cheap components that are then put in crooked. Oh, come on. You gotta be. Oh, it's good enough. Because <laughs> I'm genuinely worried how this game's gonna play out. You'll be fine, right? 99, 97, you'll walk away. But I don't know how this final boss battle is gonna go. Like, if I lose, if I don't have the best possible weapons, like all the legendary weapons I can bring with me, then what? There's no going back in time. Jesus Christ. There's no going back in time. And I'm not gonna be able to just try again with all those legendary weapons. I would have to build new stuff. I could run out of components. I don't know. So I just want to sandbag all of these parts, bring them with me, and then hope that you cows can make do with 100, 199. Right? That, that should be perfectly fine, I hope. God, this is bad. <laughs> I'm literally just cutting off tree branches and jamming them into crystal weapon heads. Okay, come on. Let's just slow it down a little bit. Why don't we... Yeah. Yeah, there we go, good. <laughs> come on, give me at least one perfect crystal weapon, for the love of God, come on. Oh, we're so close, just don't screw this, don't screw- No! Oh, you have good- it might still be good. It might still be good. God damn it. I have never in my life made four crystal weapons for one party, so you guys had better absolutely crucify these enemies. <laughs> Even if you're up against web widows or oh, oh right we have the new shot I completely forgot about that That should make a big difference. We'll see now. I can't really judge because of how much I Overstocked them, but screw it. I would love for it to actually stun the enemy That's the biggest thing don't slow it down right the electric one already slows down the enemy attack I want to freeze them so no I didn't get to read it. I didn't God damn it. I didn't get to read what it does I hit the wrong button, you gotta be kidding me. All right, let's see, I'll drop you, it hits. Yes! Oh, that is wicked. That is so much better than I would have thought. So not only does it do ice damage, but it also just stops them from attacking. So I, I can pretty much remove one enemy from every trail. What are these called? Uh, trials? Trails? I, I can remove one enemy from the fight. I'll freeze them and I get two hits in and that'll wipe them out. That's amazing. That's gonna be so big. <laughs> Way to go, Rufus. You're a genius. You're, you're really pulling your little doggy weight around here. I may not want to talk too soon, actually. We're, oh, oh, that was a waste. Two enemies left. I and I missed a crystal. I'm, I'm too focused on everything else right now. Take take down the giant stone bird. Go, go, go. Take him, take him down. Okay. You guys are doing all right. Right? We could just fire everything, heal you up before you go. Oh yes, we're dandy. We're we're, we're cruising. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I really need to keep getting these legendary weapon recipes. I can't be screwing around the entire time. There we go. Gimme. Whoo. Okay. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. That new Rufus bomb is definitely gonna be an absolute killer. We're on day 45. Is the princess worth saving anymore, honestly? <laughs> She's gonna be an old lady by the time we get to her. Beware Dudley, finally! <laughs> After 48 days of traveling and killing everything that moves, we made it to his castle ruins. I told you guys, every evil wizard is gonna bring the princess to a tower. Yes, thank you, Rufus. I'm aware that he's over there. Rufus, I swear to God, 
if you missed the giant dragon that's with him and only point out the rat. <laughs> and he doesn't even have a type, so we just need to make the best possible weapon. Okay, one legendary mace coming right up. We're already off to a great start. I don't have any legendary mace recipes. I have a few, but they all require a bronze mace, which might as well be paper mache. So instead, I'm gonna build a crystal mace, but this is a new type. We haven't seen this one yet. I just unlocked it, and I have no idea how to build it. Some kind of battle mace, I think it's called. I assumed they were all battle maces, but evidently not. Okay, this is... Uh, this is weird. How? Oh, all right. How do I rotate these around exactly? This is a weird one. You would think this would be easy because it's nice flat surfaces. You just pop them into the middle. You're good to go, but got a weird rotation on them. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This might end up being one of my best maces ever. If I could just, oh, I can even line up the lines. That makes my life a whole lot easier. Okay. I'm actually liking this design. This is going places, and now I can use my parts. I don't need to be stingy. Okay, good. And then what does a ton of damage? Give me, yeah, give me one of these. Give me, give me a whole bunch of damage. Nine additional damage. Good. And uh, how about seven more health? We'll make you real beefy. Pardon the pun. Ah, I dropped that one on the pun. Whoops. And uh, how about an extra seven damage? I think that's pretty good. It's ugly as all hell, but I think that's pretty good. 53 health, a whole bunch of damage, 100, 199. I'm gonna say we're not off to a bad start. A sword. Do I have any legendary swords? We're on the final boss of this game, and I still have no idea how damage works. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Not gonna laugh. Well, pouring molten gold. I do not need gilded fingers. There we go. We're gonna make something called the Tesla Blade, which may or may not be the strongest sword in this game. I, I just, I don't know. It gives plus 10 electric damage to your entire party. And I don't know if that's plus 10 damage of an electric type. Like, are we gonna do 10 extra damage to Dudley or is it only good against electric enemies? I just have no friggin' idea, but we need number nine. I think, hopefully I don't screw this up, eh, good, then 30, 30 would be you, yeah, that looks right, if I can just line everything up, I'm gonna take my time and get an awesome, I'm not going back, there's no going back, <laughs> because apparently I can't just slide that off and put it back, can I do that, no, I can't actually, I would have been so pissed if I'd be able to do that this entire game, <laughs> 9, 30, and 37, yeah, that looks right for something called the Tesla Blade. Eh, great. That's it. Plus 10 for all of your soldiers. Looks pretty sweet. You enjoy that. 100 and 197, that, that's gotta be pretty good. Now, legendary shield. Not only do I have no idea how the type advantage damage works, but I also don't know what luck does. I don't think I've ever seen somebody dodge something in this game, but Maybe I just haven't been paying attention. I've been talking more than I've been watching. Who knows? Either way, this shield is going to grant us a whole lot of luck so long as I build it properly. Ooh, and a whole bunch of fire damage, apparently. That's pretty sweet. Hopefully, I can make it properly. It's kind of hard to screw up a shield. And then... Oh, which... Uh, this will probably... Yeah, I would imagine if it's luck, it's this one. I'm going to get it nice and centered. Perfect. There we go. The Clover Shield, plus five luck to your whole party. And they're gold weapons, so in all reality, they should survive. I would imagine that would be better than a crystal weapon that isn't epic, right? You want a battle axe. I've definitely got a battle axe or two that I could make. I kind of wish you could go back to previous days and grind a little bit and unlock all of the recipes. You know, it's a real bummer that you miss out on stuff if you don't do well throughout the game. I guess you could just go back and play the game again and it's random chance, but I would still love to see all of the legendary weapons in this game. We're going to try to make something called the Atlantax, which, as you may imagine, is going to give us a whole bunch of water damage so long as I can build it straight. I never know with these pieces. They just don't really fit together. I would love to get full of hundreds, but I don't know. Okay, so we need uh, 22, which would be you, and eh, 
good. And then 15. This one. All right. Oh, uh, and 46. Which should be way down. I have so many butts. <laughs> like, look at all these. I'm never going to be able to use them all. Why did I keep so many? God, I'm stingy and just putting the bronze ones on this entire time. And if I hadn't been so stingy, maybe I would have had more legendary recipes. I'm an idiot. Okay, either way, there's the Atlantax. There you go. That looks pretty good. 99's pretty good, not great. I shit you not, this next one is a legendary battle axe called Battle Axe. It doesn't feel all that legendary, and it's made of steel, so I'm kind of afraid that it's gonna be the weakest one on the team. That being said, it's an aura of damage for the entire team, so it's probably a whole lot better than anything else I could make, so long as I make it correctly. Eh, good. This goes on the top, unlike that first one I made today. <laughs> We've come a long way. Now, I need six and two. This does not look very good. So many basic parts and five. I think that's it, right? Yeah, there we go. Plus six. I think that's just blunt, like basic damage across the whole team. And looking at the stats, they're really starting to build up, right? No, wait, they're not. We don't have water damage on this yet. I guess once the party convenes, we get all of our auras. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to see that. Not gonna lie, finishing things off with a shield does not feel good. Even a crystal shield, even a legendary crystal shield called the snow shield, I think. Like, I wanted to make some cool badass swords and stuff like that, like the Tesla blade. That thing was probably the coolest thing I've ever made. I want a legendary moon. Is, is that, is, uh, 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 legendary moon, pike, moon shard, whatever the hell the cows wield. Okay, either way, I think that this is perfect. That looks, yeah, there we go, snow shield, plus five for everybody, and that's it. You guys are good to go to battle. Those are my 20 epic weapons. <laughs> so, I may have gotten some kind of boost for that. I don't know, okay, just kill, kill him. Go get the princess so that we can be done. I want my reward now. Uh, of course, there's a dragon. God damn it, Rufus, what is wrong with you? Holy crap, he's dead. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Jesus, there's more of them. Oh, I didn't even realize there's like seven of them. Oh, I was gonna say that was so easy. We just murdered him instantly, but he's got a whole, he's got one dragon for every type. Of course he does. It's a good thing I have a bunch of auras giving me different type advantages. Oh my God, I'm a genius. Rufus, you didn't miss just one dragon. You missed like seven dra- I hate that dog. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that's bad. Rufus, now would be the time to shoot. You need to make up for your screwing up. Come on, hit him, hit him. Yes! <gasps> Not gonna lie, when he knocked out like five people, I thought we were screwed. Whoa, 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 later at Plump Feather Castle. Jacksmith, you have proven yourself to be a very talented and brave donkey. Thank you, is that my bag? That's not nearly big enough. My family is sincerely thankful for your hand in bringing Princess Liliana back to Plump Feather Castle, along with your cash reward. Okay. We also bestow onto you a most prized possession. Single kiss from the beautiful Princess Liliana. Oh, no, no, no. I need at least seven minutes with what? Rufus, we went through 48 days for that. I know a lot of people have been waiting a long time for my reaction to that, and I may have been a little silent, so let me just rifle off a few things that were going through my mind. If the closet doesn't have lights, then I would still take the seven minutes, I'm just saying. Or we could take the gems, put them in the cart, and then use the bag for her head? It doesn't necessarily have to be a loss, but I'm still pissed. 
you know what? I think that's gonna be it for Jacksmith, guys. And it's like they said, there's always more adventure down the road. There's always a bunch more farm animals that are gonna need weapons to kill more random things, but I think our adventure is over. Honestly, I cannot believe this became a full series on the channel. I thought I would play it once or twice, screw around, people might enjoy it, but I didn't expect the videos to genuinely do well. And it's like I always say, your support is what makes an episode into a series. People watching the videos, these long videos, watching them the whole way through, leaving likes, leaving comments, it's why I played through to the end. I really enjoyed it and I was really hoping that would be the case, so thank you guys so much for supporting this. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.